Well, if nothing else, you must admit the socialists uh, really have a lot of tenacity. Uh, and the resolve of the far left really is you can never question it. You know, in his latest version of Free College, Bernie Sanders is now saying that it should be a right and paid for by Wall Street. That would mean my next guest would be paying for a whole lot of sheepskins. I want to welcome Bonson Group managing partner David Bonson. All right, David, uh, let's not focus on whether or not we can get this through uh, Congress right now. I'm just really more intrigued by, uh, you know, what kind, what would it mean if it did? If this ever really went, became a law, the law of the land, what would happen to college? What would happen to Wall Street? Well, there's two elements there. I mean, for, and again, you don't want to go there, so I won't say it, that it has no chance of passing. But if it did, and it does reflect, Charles, the state of where the far left is on these things, I wrote a whole chapter on this subject in my book about Elizabeth Warren. And this was a major part of the policy portfolio of Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren. And it's frightening where it would go because it would diminish the value of education. And right now we have somewhere between 10 and 15 universities in the country that are really, really elite, that are really kind of powerful and represent this sort of additional level of opportunity and whatnot. All it would do is make those schools even more powerful and push down the gravitas and cachet of everything else. It obviously isn't affordable. And then this brings me to the second part of your question. Wall Street paying for it through a financial transactions tax. Wall Street would be paying none of the financial transactions tax. The customers of Wall Street would, which are people with IRA accounts and pension funds and mutual right. funds and so forth and so on. All of the work right. that's been done to get trading commissions, the lowest they've ever been, bid ask spreads, the lowest they've ever been. All of that would go away while they tried to penalize small investors to pay for this concept of free education. In the words of P.J. O'Rourke talking about health care, if you think it's expensive now, wait till you see how much it costs when it's free. When it's free, yeah. Uh, so, so what should be done uh, with respect to runaway expenses at college or, or, or to find more practical education, you know, skills-based kind of education? What should be done to get that done? Well, I, I actually really believe strongly, Charles, you and I have talked about this in the past. Um, I believe that a lot of this starts at home. I want parents to be having honest conversations with their high school age kids about what their goals are, not just assume that the goal for every single high school student in the country is to go to a college, particularly, and I'm sorry to say this, particularly if the motive is just for the kind of social strata of mom and dad. All right, let's just eliminate that right there. But right. you bring up the idea of, of, of skills-based schools, technical schools, professional schools, a full-blown kind of general ed, liberal arts education. If they're learning liberal arts in high school, they don't need to go repeat all that stuff in college. But we're not going to get there right away, obviously. The main thing that has to happen first, and guys like Mark Cuban and others have already said this, the whole financial fraud around the college system has got to be blown up. And where does it come from? It comes from subsidies from the government through an unlimited loan market so that administrators can charge whatever they want for tuition. They don't have to increase the quality. They don't have to compete with other schools around the actual academic pedigree. Right. P kids just go and party for four years while loans rack up. That's the problem with the system. I, I got less than 30 seconds to go, but I got to ask you about the market uh, since I have you on, particularly an infrastructure deal. If something happens around one, one and a half trillion dollars, whatever, uh, what stocks uh, or, or sectors do you think will benefit most? Well, depending on what's already priced in, but I think the materials sector, industrials, energy are probably most directly correlated to some of these things. But um, you, what you said is important. If it ends up being about a trillion, then there probably is real infrastructure spending going on. At two trillion, it becomes runaway um, uh, just froth. And, and I don't think that matters yeah. as much. But you want to get real infrastructure and uh, we're a ways away. But industrials and materials are probably the most levered to that. David, always appreciate our conversations. Thank you so much, my friend. Talk to you later.